Jada Pinkett Smith is finally addressing the infamous Oscar slap, but rather than apologizing, she's saying Chris Rock and Will Smith both have to set aside their differences. She opened the latest episode of Red Table Talk by saying, My deepest hope is that these two intelligent, capable men have the opportunity to heal, talk this out, and reconcile. Jada only had one remark about the incident, which that she believes both her husband and Chris are needed now more than ever. Her take is kind of shocking because most people feel it's Will who really owes Chris a face-to-face -face apology, or at very least a personal conversation. And of course, we all know that Will has been banned for the next 10 years from the Oscar ceremonies because of the slap that was heard around the world. We, we highlighted it here on the show. Jada has been open for years about her struggles with alopecia. In fact, if not for alopecia, she might not have addressed the slap in the Red Table Talk episode, which is about uh, the challenges that Jada and others face with the condition. When uh, this season of Red Table began, it opened with a statement saying that her family has been focusing on deep healing and would address the issues when the time comes. Apparently, the time has come for Jada, but not yet for Will. Uh, Mr. Cortez, do you think that this is a bunch of BS? I do believe Chris and uh, Will need to sit down privately and discuss what, what, you know, what happened. I think he does need to apologize to him, man, for what went down. Okay. Um, Jada, I don't think Jada owes anybody an apology, to be really? honest. Okay. She wasn't the one that slapped him. Okay. She, she just sat there and watched, but she didn't slap him. So, I mean, also makes me wonder, okay, are you doing this to get ratings for your show? Mm. Are you doing it for that? Or are you really con are very concerned about what's going on? You know, I mean, your husband literally went up on stage and cracked somebody. Yeah. Just home to 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 defend your honor. That's right. Because I've seen if you ever look on Netflix, man, um, Letterman, he has a talk show and they yeah. interview Will Smith. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. That, that was good. That was a good interview with Will. He did, man. Okay. And one thing, one thing that I got out of the interview was Will is the type of person he'll take but so much, but you know, just like anybody else. I, he will come out he will come towards you if he needs to mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just you know that's his his way of hand i thought his way of handling the thing with chris rock was just not necessary man it could have been handled differently right but they, they both got to handle that themselves man i don't you know if they can save the world i don't know about all that stuff that she's mentioning man but dude i, I just feel as though that you know we men we are all men we should be able to sit down and talk about our issues without fist fighting, man. Exactly. Exactly. I give you that. Now, Mr. GPS, just to add on to this, Vivica Fox actually made a commentary about that uh, Red Table Talk. And she was holding back tears when she discussed uh, Jada's comments about Will Smith and Chris Rock. Uh, she said that Jada took no accountability for her part of the incident during the Red Table Talk uh, commentaries that she did. Quote, this is going to be difficult for me. These are my peers. I've done a movie with both of them. Set it off with Jada and Independence Day with Mills Will Smith, which absolutely changed my life. When I saw the, this video last night, it made me cry. I'll be very honest with you guys. I really felt to be a partner to Will Smith whose career basically took a crumble that night. We're all rooting for Will Smith that night, Oscar night. We wanted him to win. Will Smith that night was far, as far as I was concerned, was going to be crowned this generation's Sidney Pontier, which is a huge honor. Uh, so do you agree with what Vivica's saying about Jada, or do you have a totally different opinion of, of Jada herself? I think Jada just needs to go sit down somewhere, Whoa. okay? Because we've all seen the tape. Okay. And we're all well aware of the look that wives can give their husbands to mm -hmm. um, affect certain emotions or decisions. Right. Okay? And he got up out of that chair he after he started laughing mm -hmm. and then saw you and stopped. Mm -hmm. And then went up there and did what he did. And you could have said, hey, where you going? Sit down. Right. You could have stopped. You could have did something, but you did what you wanted to do. Okay? And now we have this mess. Yeah. Now, do Chris and Will need to, you know, 
hash this out. Uh, yeah, but I mean, what you gonna say, bro? You came up and embarrassed me on national fucking television. You know, I mean, although it's lessening as time goes on, it's out there yeah. forever. Infamous. But on the flip side, I still say that was money. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. You wouldn't have got the hell about that chick. Well, you that's true. To do it. If it was the Rock, it would have been a rock bottom on Will Smith. Unfortunately, we have this. You, you know, wouldn't have left that stage walking away. I tell you that. And now you'd probably be pretty, pretty banged up. But Chris ain't complaining right now because look how much uh, money he's making after this incident. Well, sure. Not but, saying he wasn't you know, making money beforehand. Let's get that right because he's a great entertainer, he's a great comedian. But. Now it's like more than probably ever. Yeah, it's more like a mercy. It's like it's like we feel so sorry for what happened, man. We just gonna give you out. We gonna give you extra opportunities, man, because we seen what happened on TV and we feel real bad what happened. Mm. It's like a charity. He has become a charity case, unfortunately. Okay, all right. Well, that's an interesting spin on it, but that is true. That is true. So, but hey, he's taking it all the way to the bank. So, can he really complain? No. He might. No, nah, no. Nah, Thank you for giving me was, all this extra millions. Yeah, he, he was just. He definitely is a victim. He was a victim throughout the whole entire thing. It wasn't like he was. It wasn't like he um, went after Will. Will came after him. So you know. Mm-hmm. That's very true. So uh, let's. You know, if anybody has seen this Red Table Talk, you know, put, put a commentary for us and let us know what you think. If, you know, Jade is in the right or in the wrong, is it best for her to make a better statement? Just just let us know. And either way, you know, check us out on our handles, whether you're on uh, YouTube, on Instagram, TikTok, G5 Radio. Leave us a commentary and tell us what you think about this situation.